bureaucracy fix the mess you made. Whoa. <laughs> Cute. <sighs> Press play. It'd be nice if they had a quick reset button that would allow you to, like, just move and reset without having to go through the whole recalibration process, you know? Just, like, a reset position button, you know? All right, Clone Morty. You know, you, you did real good today, so kudos to you. Anyway, just uh, take some time to relax, but, um, you know, you can, you can pump her around the garage, whatever. Um, and, uh, when you're ready to just continue moving forward with the actual game, just give me a call back. I got, I, I got other shit for you to do. Uh. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Spent. <laughs> That's goofy. Uh, let's see if I can hear the mixtape now. Too. Your mixtape sucks. Mine is better. That's why my tape has no music on it. Cassette tapes are for pussies. End of tape. Well, that's kind of funny, I guess. <sighs> Initiating reverse safety.
<laughs> yeah, I'm shooting at Mexico. That was goofy. kind of egg. It's the one on that rock over there, so why don't you figure out how to get it and bring it over here while I fix the mess you made in my car. Egg. This one? Grandpa, hmm. I think this clone is either dumb or just broken. Couldn't you make a robot that passes the egg or something? You clearly don't understand the importance of clones, Summer. <laughs> what the f... Set this so okay, that's where it puts me. So Are you trying to hatch? I'm not so sure about this, Rick. This seems like some kind of nature preserve, you know? Morty, it is a nature preserve, and I'm way ahead of you. I disabled any alarms or any detective measures that might have detected us coming here. Wait, shit, Morty! Oh my god! What are we gonna do, Rick? I'm too young for space prison! Hey, put the egg back immediately! This is a Galactic Federation controlled sanctuary! Clone Morty, step back! I'm gonna sue you up for combat! I'm not dealing with these dumb insects today! Alright, no! Place your hands over the glowing bits! You just gotta put your hands like we're scanning your handprint! Come on. Come on. I'm too short. I'm too damn short. Come on. Why would it change my height? Come on, don't do that. Ah. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. 
Clone Morty. Cover us while I fix the car. Got hand last night. Shoot. It's a real shooting type situation here now. Just, 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 just shoot. Just shoot. Just shoot. Come on. I'm purging, baby! Shut up, Morty. We have a shield. Grow lights online. Okay, Morty, you gotta go. Uh, there's no time for us to save you, so just keep covering us. Do you wanna be a? Alright, Clone Morty, you're an idiot. Uh, we're totally safe now, and we're on our way back. I have no problem uh, with you continuing to vaporize the government heads, but I have no way of getting you back here, so. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and disable all the safety mechanisms on your hand cannons and, uh, you know what they say, there's only one- <laughs> That was fun, though. Welcome back, Clone Morty. The egg we acquired is on the desk, so go ahead and uh, pick it up and find somewhere warm to incubate it. You know, so somewhere nice and warm so that it'll get nice and incubated and, and hatch. Uh, I'm sure you can figure something out. Incubated. Maybe you put it in the dryer? Can't go in the fridge. Huh. No, damn it. Where did it go? Oh my god, this is perfect, Clone Morty. It imprinted on you. Hey, look, it, it wants to play. Hey, Clone, you should find something and, you know, throw it and play fetch with it.
Oh, Morty, it imprinted on you. It's trying to tell you what it wants you to do. Just, just follow it. Just, it, it'll guide you. It's very easy. Game cartridge. <clears throat> you know, I love this game so much I tried to find a home version of it. I ended up finding a crappy clone made on the Chikina planet. I know that sounds pretty on the nose, but where do you think China got its name? <laughs> Booyah! Ethnic joke. Welcome to the year 1972, where ethnic comedy is on the rise. <laughs> My sweet little Troy. Oh dear, who left that on the floor? You're always finding ways to get into trouble, aren't you, Troy? Yeah, that's right. What you gonna do about it, loser? I think I broke something. Troy, what have you done? <laughs> I still can't believe you punched Jimmy. And you managed to steal all these beers. You're one bad dude, Troy. Cheers. Hey, come take a puff of this. I bought it off my cousin. Troy, my man, you got any more of that good stuff? <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Hey, I'm a bit short on dough today. Is this gonna be enough? I'll get you back for the rest, man. Don't you worry about it. You can always count on me, buddy. Troy, you can't keep doing this forever. It's time to get realistic. You need to do something with your life. What are you doing, Troy? We need to go get you a new social security card now. 
Next in line, please. Okay, okay, uh, you need a new social security card, do ya? You know, you can't just throw these away and go off the grid, you know. People have tried many times, I've seen it, trust me. But this is real life. You've got responsibilities. Uh, is that your wife over there? You plan on leaving her? Uh, what, what's your name here? Troy? Troy. You, you planning on leaving her, Troy? Running away to go live in the woods by yourself? You can't just disappear just because you don't like your job or paying taxes. You can't just throw your idea away. This is the hand we're all dealt, okay? Nobody really likes it. Everybody has it rough sometimes, Troy. But we can't just be giving up, you hear me? Now take your stupid card, lift your chin up, get out there, keep working your stupid job that you hate so much, keep paying your taxes, that's important, and uh, try not to think about anything too much. Okay, next! Well, the test came back. We know what you've been up to, Troy. Y you can't hide what you've been putting into your system. Look, that's behind you now. We're here to help. We're gonna turn things around for you now. Troy, I'm here for you. We'll get through this. Happy, Happy retirement, retirement Troy. Troy! You've always been such a hard worker, Troy. I'm glad you finally get to rest. What the shit? Doctor, isn't there anything you can do for him? I'm afraid not. As I'm sure you know, Troy's early life was a bit troubled in terms of, uh, substance use, and it's finally caught up with him. <laughs> well, here's your diagnosis, Troy. I know it's not what you want to see right now, but it's the truth. Troy's lived a full life, but all things must one day end. I'm sorry to tell you this, Troy, <laughs> but you've got about 10 seconds to live. Oh my god, Troy, I can't believe this. Uh, please, please don't leave me. I'll, I'll never forget a moment of our time together. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty funny. That was goofy. I was cool. I was a drug dealer. I had no kids. And I was a bully. I want to go off the grid next time I play, if I can. I tried to throw away the social security card, but it didn't work.
Okay. Flying disc plus mace. <laughs> Flying disc plus metal. Oh, damn it! Give me the fucking. Give me the fucking frisbee. Okay. Flying disc plus metal. <laughs> Growth pill plus gazorpazorp. Yeah. A bulb. Okay. A growth pill from gazorpazorp plus a bulb. Where are the fucking light bulbs? pill. Oh, would you look at that, Clone Morty? You found a growth hormone. Too bad you don't have a penis. You really put that thing to use. <laughs> Plus growth pill. Okay, somehow I have to not have the light bulb break as soon as it arrives. <sighs> do I have to catch it? Is that all I do? That doesn't do it. It still fucking breaks. Fuck. Damn it! Uh, okay, I gotta try this again. I almost had it that time. Gotcha! Thank <laughs> you. 
Alright, it looks like you can follow the instructions of possibly the second dumbest thing in the universe next to you. Now that you've finished that, I can come back to the garage. <laughs> What a cute little creature. Come here, little guy. Come here. Why, Rick? Well, why would you have the clone help it and then just kill it like that? It's not useful to me alive. It's better this way. I mean, you eat chicken, Morty. Ah, what do you think you. happens to them? You know, it's a cold universe. Factory farming, Morty. You know, if you, if you, if you want to sit here and preach, you might want to consider putting your money where your mouth is, going vegan, or, or whatever, and leave me out of it. It's not my problem. Jeez, you really tore me apart with that, Rick. You know, you're right. I'm going vegan. This is canon. Morty is now vegan. This is canon. Canon shit just happened in this VR game. Canon shit. I'm, ve I'm a full-on vegan now. Season four, all vegan. Season four, 100% vegan, Morty. All right, shut up, Morty. <laughs> Get rid of the god fuck. I'll try I'll try that. I'll see if I can make the gun massive. the gun go? Oh, there it is on the floor. Fuck. Come on, give me the goddamn gun. That's funny. 
Okay, it's a gun that shoots a picture of that. That's goofy. That didn't work. I couldn't make the gun bigger. What happens if I use drugs? Uh. Yeah, I'm gonna give it laxative. Give it drugs. Yeah, it needs to shit. Okay. This thing is going to blow its ass out. Hey, look, Rick. The mama has a dangly thing just like that baby creature did. You know, the one you pulled to uh, pulled on to murder it? Landed on a little thick here, aren't you, Morty? Hold on to murder it. <sighs> I guess. so that it'll make you big enough to fight that thing. Eh, uh, okay, I may have overdone it a bit. Anyway, uh, we've already killed a couple of these things, so I'm pretty sure you know what to do. Ew. Oh my god, oh, it's disgusting! Um, Rick, now that it saved the planet, you're gonna shrink the clone back to normal size, right? It saved the planet, Rick. Listen, Morty, you know I could go through all the process of reconfiguring the shrink ray, but I think I've got a better solution. Clone Morty, I'm gonna have to kill you again. Hold still. <laughs> Welcome to Purgatory. <laughs> are so glad. Well, yes, I'd like an egg drop soup, a Szechuan chicken, a large beef and broccoli, and some of those egg rolls. Hello? Clone? Is that you? Damn it! What did you get on? Jar. <laughs> Jesus. 
jar. Mori, there you are. Quick, you need to combine this mega seed with that jar of goo. Come on, hurry, hurry up. What the hell? I don't understand. You were supposed to be the one. I searched the whole central fi- Oh, Morty, Morty, there you are. I, quick, I need to combine this mega seed with- Wait a second, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? Y you stay away from my Morty! Wait, 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 you're Morty? You're not his Rick asshole? It takes uh, one gaping asshole to know a gaping uh, asshole. Ow! Asshole! Get off of me! Uh, Get, ow! You son of a bitch! A, a little help here, Morty? Uh, uh. Fuck you! No, fuck you, bitch! Don't call me a bitch! I'm a, 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 I'm not a bitch! Yeah, you are! Ow! You're a stupid bitch! Uh, no, I'm not! I'm not a bitch! You are! You're the bitch! Ugh! Ugh! You're the worst Rick in the multiverse of, 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 of every possible Rick in every <coughs> possible timeline! You're the shittiest Rick I've ever met! Uh, don't listen to him! He's not your Rick! He doesn't know everything we've been through! Uh, get this asshole off me! Uh, he, he's gonna stop all of our plans together! We need to finish this! Uh, we've been through so much! Uh, 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 Morty, I really need you to find a way to get this turd off me! He's really starting to stink up my game! You know, Morty, a real Rick wouldn't expect you to be able to break up this fight! A real Rick would know how stupid you are! You're just so stupid, Morty! Uh, you couldn't possibly figure out how to break up this fight! Uh, this is the dumbest Morty you've ever seen! He doesn't even have a body, he's just uh, a head and two hands! What? Uh, shut up! Uh, uh, Jesus, I can't take this anymore! Look, Morty, you want to kill a Rick? There's only one way to kill a Rick that never fails! Oh god, it failed! Uh, <laughs> Look what you did! Me! Look what you did! Uh, We're just lucky that that clone is too stupid to figure out how to fix this gun! We'll be here for uh, eternity at this rate! Two Ricks perfectly matched, and the only thing that can kill us is sitting broken underneath that idiot's floating face! Jesus, Clone Morty, get the fucking gun! Whoa, 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 what are you doing there, little buddy? Hey, whoa, 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 no, 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 not me, not me, I, I'm, I'm, uh, not me. Why would you point that thing at me? I, I'm, I'm the real Rick, I'm your Rick! Listen, you little floating head and hands, piece of shit. You can't kill me, I made you. It doesn't work like that. Don't you remember that time th that we, we were in the garage just doing science stuff, uh, sciencing it up together? What, 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 what do you think, that he did science stuff with you? I was the one that did all the science stuff with you. Oh, oh, really, science stuff, huh? Yeah, yeah, real smooth. You sound like some kind of piece of shit that never read a book, and now you're giving a book report about it. Take that, Rick! Yeah, how did that <laughs> Rick, the clone has a gun! Don't worry, I got this. Time to shoot another clone, Morty. <laughs> Hello. I'm the Devil Secretary Summer Intern, and so... You're dead. Or... Or not dead? Or... Oh my gosh, this is so hard. Uh, I think you have a button, or... I have a button. Can you look around and press something? I, I really don't want to make anyone angry. Ah, uh, I looked up who I'm supposed to call when I have a problem and it's my own name. Uh, just do something. Okay, good luck. Bye! Welcome back, Clone Morty. I gotta hand it to you. Destroying that giant alien, killing a Rick. You really did a great job. High five. Oh god, Rick, oh god, what did you do? Why is it bleeding? It's a computer chip, Morty. Everyone knows you can't just combine raw mega seed. Oh, geez, oh. Rick, you kept the chip inside him this whole time? Yeah, Morty, I hide all my secrets in Morty's. You should know that by now. You're like a walking safe. All right, now go ahead, clone Morty, and use the chip to upgrade the machine. You know, the one that you combine things with. You want to... All right, per perfect. Now try combining the extract of that little creature that you loved with the Mega Seed. Alright! We're almost there. We made an Omega Seed. All we have to do now is combine that Omega Seed with anything that already has fluid in it. 
You know, like a bottle of fluid or something. This shouldn't be that hard to figure out, clone. Yo, man, I can't wait to see what happens when you combine those two things, you know? I think it's gonna be pretty great. The Omega Detergent, the softest, most powerful cleaning substance in the known universe. Ladies and gentlemen, the Omega Detergent. That's right. You know what time it is? It's time to do some laundry, Clone Morty. Just pour the detergent into the washer. You know, it's been a while since I've done my laundry right, so uh, I've been uh, stashing it in an alternate dimension just for the moment. Like, all you need to do is dip a piece of dirty laundry in the washing machine and then toss it in the dryer. The Omega Detergent does everything for you. Go on, Clone Morty. All you gotta do is just dip a piece of the dirty laundry in the washing machine and get a little bit of that Omega, Omega Detergent on it. It does everything for you, and then you just toss it in the dryer. Clone Morty! We've been through this before. This is the only reason I created you. Dip the laundry in the- Wait a second, Rick. L laundry? What? Yeah, Morty, laundry. Oh, laundry. Don't you get it? This is what we've been doing this whole time, Morty. I, I, I don't understand. Like, th this is a lot for me to process, Rick. I, I feel like you're not giving me a enough time to figure this whole thing out. Morty, 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 Morty. It's not that hard to figure out. We did all this so that we could do the laundry. Because there's a wrong way and there's a right way. Now we're doing it the right way. We, we, we went on a fun, good old-fashioned Rick and Morty adventure. And now the Morty clone is going to do our laundry. I don't know how I feel about that, Rick. You know, I, I'm, 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 not, I'm not sure I like, I like the sound of that stuff, you know? Y y there's no way we, we had to do all that stuff just so that you could get some crappy laundry detergent. Listen, Morty, there's a bigger plan here, right? I've had this whole thing figured out for a while now. Once I had developed clone technology and made the Morty clone, I knew it was capable of doing the laundry. I knew it. From there, it was a simple matter of sneaking into the intergalactic nature preserve and stealing the last remaining egg from the nesting grounds. You know, since Clone Morty was expendable, I knew it was the ultimate defense against those Federation drones. You know, the fake car malfunction was the perfect excuse to bring the clone to the nature preserve. I had that all planned out. Then we had to make sure we nurtured the baby creature to an appropriate age so it could call its mother. I mean, without Mother's Milk, we could never be able to make the perfect strength of the Omega detergent that I wanted, you know? I mean, this is a very delicate process, Morty. Now, I knew we needed to use the only Mega Seed we had to upgrade the car so we could properly handle the egg, so I created a honey pot for other Ricks to find us. By being the only Rick in the multiverse that had successfully acquired an egg as well as nurtured it to the proper level of maturity, I knew there would be other Ricks that would be interested in making this Omega detergent. I mean, you, you, think, you think I'm the only Rick that wants his laundry done properly? I mean, these other Ricks would bring their Mega Seeds to our universe, knowing that this universe lacked the Mega Seed to create the Omega Detergent, in the hopes that they could trick the clone into giving them detergent. We then swoop in at the last minute, take out both Ricks, which the clone surprisingly helped by taking one of them out for us, and finish the formula using the chip I hid inside the clone's hand. The clone then makes the laundry, and hoo-yum! There we go. Perfect laundry. What?! None of this makes sense! Y you, you can't just say that you had a plan! And other Rick would show up and it would happen that way? I mean, what about the giant creature in the sky? Well, what about that? Y y you didn't talk about the huge creature that came floating down and was like the size of the moon? Hey, hey, Morty, no plan is perfect. You know, we had to improvise. It was a real Boondock Saint situation, Morty. You've seen that movie, right? It's a cult classic, The Boondock Saint. <laughs> it's about a Boondock Saint who goes around... What the fuck? What? What the fuck are you even talking about, Rick? Y you can't tell me that we did all of this so that you could do your laundry perfectly. I can't begin to comprehend how fucked up you need to be in the brain to even begin to allow this to happen. Right, Morty, calm down, Morty, calm down. Calm down. You're getting all worked up about this thing. It's not a big deal. Uh, no, nobody, nobody that mattered died. We came out okay. We're fine. Who cares? Relax. Jeez, Rick. Jeez, Rick, what, what, what is this, some kind of Bugs Bunny episode? I mean, what is this, like the Flintstones? I mean, jeez. We, we, you had us doing all this shit. You know, you had the clone doing all this shit. And then now we're just standing here, like, you know, and, and you're just totally fine that we're just doing a bunch of laundry? Mori, well, listen, I can tell you're upset, buddy. But maybe you just need to put this into perspective, you know? Maybe, maybe you just need to see that the universe is bigger than you, or me, or, or the laundry, for that matter. If I get you some ice cream, Morty, 
Would that help calm you down? You know, this is really fucked up, Brick. You know, I, I don't know what's right. I don't, I don't know what's wrong anymore. But I, 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 I guess ice cream is good, you know? That's a good thing. Yeah, Rick, I, I give up. But let, let's get some ice cream. All right, Morty Clone. You know, you did a real good job with my laundry. Finally done to the level of perfection I need. Anyway, so, uh, we're gonna head out and get some ice cream we were just talking about, but, uh, you know, there's a lot more stuff you could do in this game, a lot more things to do. You know, the developers really threw in some insane stuff in here, man, you know, to add to the replayability. I mean, you could play Troy again. I mean, you like Troy, right? Yeah, the developers, they, 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 they thought of everything, didn't they? Sure did, Morty. There's over, you know, there's 13 cassettes just laying around in, in, in the game. 13? Wow. All 13 of those. I've only found two. I bet you could find them. They're like an Easter egg, you know? I know you can order one on the internet. In the I ain't seen Easter that eggs. yet. Yeah, Easter eggs. It's like, um, that's like, uh, Easter's like Jesus came and, or Jesus Christ came. Hey, Morty, Morty, Morty. He's up on the, uh, religious stuff. Not cool. <laughs> want to be non-denominational over here. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Uh, you know, you, hey, you could go back to Shootout World, Clone Morty. Remember Shootout World, where, where you shot all the all the insects in the nature preserve? Yep, that's it. We can go back there. We, we, we put a scoreboard up for you. How about that? The developers, they put a scoreboard up. You can you can see how many of those uh, bugs that you can kill now. That's a fun little mini game for you. Oh, man, that's some real serious, like, extra, you know, unlocked replayability right there. That's like, cha-ching, just unlock that shit. Yeah. Now you got that unlocked. You know what else you got unlocked is the biggest battery in the microverse machine. That's right. Now you can try to charge the biggest battery. See how far you can go. It's the world's biggest battery. It's like, just how long can you play the game for before you lose in the little microverse machine? Oh my god, what? Man, they threw it all in, Rick. They threw in the kitchen sink along with it, too. I mean, that's just wild. You think that's wild, Morty? <coughs> Dad's around here somewhere. Oh, hey. Dude, is that Jerry I hear? Uh, no, you can't hear him yet, but, but no, it's true. Jerry's in the game. You know, I, I don't know what you have to do to hear him, but like, you can hear him. He's 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 around. I mean, just go 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 tinkering, go exploring, go exploring. You got a whole world to play with now. Man, it's chock filled. It's chock filled with secrets over here. All right, Morty, shut up. Yeah. So, anyways, Morty Clone, I'm pretty sure that, you know, you got a lot of stuff to to figure out. You know, there's all kinds of stuff to figure out. So. We're gonna get going. Me and Morty got an ice cream date. We're gonna go get some ice cream. Oh man, I can't wait to eat some ice cream. I'm gonna eat that ice cream. That's right. So um, we're gonna go do that. Uh, you hang back and look for those little secrets. Just do me one little favor. Don't touch any of my shit. This is my stuff. This is my garage. This is my world. <laughs> yeah, this is his place. <laughs> you, you don't mess with his stuff, you little punk. Yeah, don't mess with my stuff. You dumb punk. <laughs> uh. Okay. Number of years is Troy. 69. All right. Yeah, I tried to go off the grid, but that didn't work. <laughs> I committed suicide. <laughs> oh, that's funny. So glad that you're here with us. That was funny. Hi, hello. I'm the Devil's Secretary, Summer Interns Intern, and yeah, so uh, you're, you're you're dead. Um, look, this is hell. There are infinite levels of bureaucracy in here. I've got interns. My interns have interns. Uh, those interns also have interns. It's a it's a multi-level management scheme. Think like uh, Herbalife, but with dead people instead of Hispanics. And actually, today is your lucky day because we just had an opening for an intern for me. So if you could gather together three of your friends, then uh, their salaries would be paid to you, and then your salary would be paid to me for turning you on to this amazing opportunity. And uh, we could get you set up here if you just. Fe oh, it uh, looks like we forgot to put the paperwork up there. Um, that puts a, puts a bit of a damper on it, but uh, well. Anyway, uh, this is the part where normally I'm supposed to tell you that you're a, a, a bad person and you deserve to be here in, in hell. Uh, but they keep telling me I'm going to get paid at some point in experience, and I can't really find any conversion charts around here, so... 
Ah, what the hell. Just press that button and uh, I'll make sure my boss is actually around the next time you end up down here. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> that was funny. It's funny being able to commit suicide with the gun. I'm going to try to get the fire extinguisher, see if it does anything. I guess you can't fly through space with it, but that's not really surprising. Uh... Ah, well, I guess that's the uh, story mode, so I think I'll probably take a break for a bit soon. What's this? Is that young Morty? Or is that Beth? I can't tell how young Rick is there. That might be Beth, I guess, as a baby. You know what? Fuck this shit. <laughs> Give me the book. <laughs> VR. VR equals insta flop. Can I fuck? Oh wow, this game has the, the F bomb in it? That's what it looks like. Can I fuck a Mr. Me seek? VR is a dumb gimmick for dumb idiots like you. I take a person glasses. How come there are no version for people? Without head goggle. <laughs> Whoops. I didn't really want to do that, but uh, okay. <laughs> Dick. <laughs> What is that?
Hmm. The t-shirt, the flesh curtains. What are these? They look like eyeballs. Like pickled eyeballs. <laughs> ah, that looks funny. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. <laughs> uh, this is, mm. Gasoline. Do not ingest. Okay, you vomit. I don't know if you can die. Come on, give me the goddamn box. Give me the goddamn box. I guess I can't open it. Drink the paint. Soap. Shit. Okay, hang on.
Hi, this is 1% Visible. I'm Steven Barp. The exchange of goods on a galactic scale is no small feat. Even before faster than light travel, galactic citizens needed a way to ship physical goods to anywhere in the galaxy. We order goods that are unique to specific planets and expect they make it intact to our front doors rapidly. We ship uh, approximately 44 million items in a single galactic standard day. That's Proop Canoop. Hey, I'm Proop Canoop, and I'm the manager in charge of Gazorpazorpazon Regional Office number 648. Proop manages just one of the thousands of Gazorpazorpazon's regional distribution centers speckled across the galaxy. People need all kinds of things, and uh, we hold them here first, and then we ship them out. We got uh, shovels, benerts. Raw Uber berries, everybody loves them. Uh, pretty much anything that's legal, we package and ship here. Our distribution center covers approximately 0.09% uh, of the galaxy. And that's just a single center. Once you combine Gazorpazorpazon's entire network together, you cover almost all of the galaxy. The scale of their operation is truly stunning. I mean, not everyone has a home teleportation device to receive their packages. Those things have to be put in a stable location, have some significant power demands, but for many of our customers, we rely on the Courier Flap Network. Before Gazorpazorpazon, there was the Courier Flap Network. Genetically engineered, half-organic, half-automatons who helped citizens of the Galactic Federation ship their packages ever since the service was founded over 400 years ago. I was sitting in my back porch in Metropolis one night, you know, as the sun sank in the Crimson Nebula. And I jumped out of my chair and, like, shrieked at my husband. The courier flaps created the Galactic Federation. That's Kreboli Saren, a historian who wrote a book titled How We Flapped Our Way to a Galactic Federation. I knew I had to write a book once the idea came to me. The first courier flaps were crude devices. The early Federation did not have a way to ship goods and equipment to outlying territories. The government wanted to be able to pass information... How long does this go on for? This is boring. Without a stable, unoccupied method of transport, they couldn't deliver terminals to outlying territories. It was the motivation to connect the furthest out colonies to the galactic internet that drove the creation of the courier flaps. Originally, the flaps were supposed to be machines, but new colonies wanted more than just a digital connection to the government. They wanted goods from other worlds. Without the flap's organic parts, it made it much harder to contain goods with specific environmental needs. It was only through careful thought that the designers of the flaps were able to create something that could adapt itself to best fit the cargo. Once they had the basic design down, the Federation manufactured They would first deliver the basic necessities to get connected back to the galactic government. As the courier flaps began to saturate the galaxy, uh, yeah. the design was honed and changed. Here you can see an image of the original designs. These things were handcrafted, each with a single category of good they were certified to carry. As time passed, the Federation was able to combine the needs of each different type of flap into a single universal flap. It was a huge cost savings to the government. They were now able to update the technology of the galaxy and provide a network for citizens to exchange physical items at a relatively cheap cost. Before the courier flap, galactic citizens relied on cargo shipments from expensive commercial carriers. These were cost prohibitive, so only the wealthy were able to ship things via this method. Once anyone could afford to ship packages, it changed the way the galaxy communicated. We went from being a set of different tribes based on our own solar systems to being a cohesive unit, a quilt of civilization stitched together with the flesh and bones of the flaps. The courier flaps also had the unintended effect putting a face on an otherwise immense, faceless bureaucracy. I just feel connected to my career flaps. That's Sally Glory, a galactic citizen who has created a site where she catalogs her interactions with the flaps. I started it about five years ago. You can see more on my website. As they age, they get distinct markings, and their voices mature and become unique. She even names each of the flaps she meets. There's the fun. And that gloom looking one is Ivy. How when long is this tape? How long do they go on about this shit? The courier flaps have helped connect us through the consumption of goods. Whether or not you think they have been the linchpin of the Galactic Federation, I think we can all agree that they have had a lasting effect on our lives. Hearing them croak out their delivery notification is a song that binds all of us together. 
And that was one percent visible was recorded this week by Mon and Catherine. It was produced by me, Stephen Barp, and recorded on Galactic Radio Avenue in beautiful downtown Oldland. This week, 1% Visible is brought to you by Needful. They are an internet company that I feel truly exemplifies good design. Use code D3V1L at checkout to get 50% off your first purchase. 1% Visible is distributed by GPX, the galactic public radio experience. Well, that's that. Ah. <sighs> I'm done for now. I'm going to take a break and eat something. I'll come back. I wonder what this Omega Seed does with this... With this, uh... I don't know. Uh... Still trying to see if there's a way to make like a powered up gun or something. Okay, I'm done for now. Thanks for watching. <laughs> I'll uh, find, I'll check out and find some of the Easter eggs some other time. <laughs>